Now, hi guys. In the last video, we uh, discussed uh, the possibilities of plus. That for strings, plus means concatenation, and for numbers, plus means uh, addition. Uh, as similarly, it is with multiplication. Let me again do some variables. A is equal to 17. B is equal to hello. Okay. Now, uh, oops, I got to change that to an equal. All right. So now let's try uh, a multiplication. So basically, A times 3 gives 51. However, what happens if I type B times 3? Well, that means hello, in this case, gets concatenated three times. Okay? And you see hello, hello, hello. Okay? And so basically, if I just, uh, if it's, it's basically it's multiplication and addition are basically work uh, 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 the same. Addition, uh, sorry, the plus means addition for numbers and concatenation for text. Multiplication is the same thing. Uh, sorry, the uh, star or, or cross sign, if you wish, means the same thing. Basically, you multiply the numbers together to get a result or you multiply the text uh, uh, so many times. So basically, that text gets concatenated to itself several times. Okay? So these are, uh, this is how the uh, times works. And unlike uh, uh, addition, I can here multiply numbers and text. So basically, I can say B cross A, and that would give me 17 hellos. Okay. So that's 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 how that's how, again here you can see that multiplication um, uh, changes its meaning depending on context. So if you have numbers, obviously they get multiplied. If you have text and number they get um, multiplied the text gets uh, concatenated to itself so many times as the number uh, as the, to the as as big as the number is okay so basically here we have like 17 hellos and uh, what happens if i um, multiply a string and string well if i say uh, b cross b you get an error okay so that's that's addition that's multiplication and the rest is basically uh, 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 mathematics the, uh, the remaining operators so basically if I say like uh, you know um, oops uh, let's say a divided by 3 you would have uh, 5.6667 and now here is very important a is an integer we didn't define it but that object holding the 17 is an integer this object here is now what we call a float a floating number basically a decimal number so basically these are two different number types obviously they can be added together let, let me let me do it better let, let's let's define a third variable let's call it c and c is basically a divided by three so c is basically uh what is c if i just type in c c is basically that 5.666 whatever so basically now if i add a plus C, A gets converted to a float. Why? Because numbers always get converted to the more uh, complex number. A float is much more complex than, a, than, a, than, a, than, a, uh, than an integer. And in this case, in order to handle the addition, Python converts A to a float. And now we have this result. This result is a float. Okay. Now, if I wish to calculate with integers, I would have to convert C, which is a float, to an integer. And the way we convert C to an integer, we did that in the last video, is basically with a function int. So basically, let's, let's say D is equal to int C. And let's see what D is. D is basically just the uh, part ahead of the decimal. Anything behind the decimal just gets ignored. It doesn't get rounded. That's very important to, 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 to pay attention to. I have five, look at look at my C. C is 5.666. Actually, if you round it, it should be actually, it's, it's nearer to six than to five. However, <clears throat> the, the function int cuts everything behind the decimal to, uh, to uh, just the part ahead of the decimal. So basically, we're just left with the five. And now if I add a plus int c, I should get 
17 plus 5, which is then 22. Okay? And other operators work similarly. Say um, you have then the, uh, one more operator is the basically power to the, uh, you know, I wish to raise uh, A to the power of uh, 5. The way you do it is like uh, A and then you twice. Uh, you, you type in twice the multiplication sign and then let's say 3. And that is, means 17 to the power of 3. Okay, A to the power of 24. That's the number you get if you raise 17, uh, if, you, if, you, if you put 17 to the power 24, for instance. Okay, and then there's another function called modulus. And modulus works like this. If I take A modulus 3, I get 2. What is that 2? Well, that's the remainder. If I take A and divide by 3, actually it's basically 50. To get a, to get a whole, what, what is the nearest, or let me put it this way, modulus de uh, delivers the remainder uh, of, the, of, the, of the division. So basically, if I divide 17 by 3, well, 17 by 3 is 5, and what, what, what's get left? What's 5 times 3 is 15, what's left is 2. That's what modulus delivers. Basically, the remainder of an integer division, okay? So basically, if I say, let's take another number, let's say uh, uh, 24, and, and I wish to divide that by 5, uh, by, by 5, by, if I take modulus 24 and 5, uh, what's the nearest number that, that can be uh, completely divided by uh, 5? It's basically the 20, so my remainder should be 4. And that's what modulus delivers. Okay, so now, uh, in this video, we discuss, or let's, let me put it this way, in the, last, in, the previous, in the last two videos, we discussed the various operators, first the plus, then the multiplication, division, and then we have um, the modulus, and uh, uh, another thing what, what is important is often you have something called precedence. For instance, uh, a plus, uh, let, me, let me define some variables. Let's, let's take some uh, new variables. a a is 3. Uh, ah, sorry, AA is 3, uh, BB is uh, 15, uh, CC is um, uh, 23, okay, and uh, DD is uh, 33, right. Now, what happens if I say AA plus BB cross CC divided by DD, okay, uh, plus uh, AA, okay? What is that result? What, what happens here? What, gets, uh, what happens here? Does, does, does AA first get added to BB or then multiply to CC or, or what? There's a certain precedence here in mathematics, there's a certain precedence. And I tell you the truth, I cannot remember what comes, uh, what comes first. I always forget that. And I bet you I'm not the only person who has this problem. So the way I handle this kind of stuff, if you have complex, uh, complex uh, equations, the best thing is to use parentheses to, to set yourself the precedence you wish to have. Let's say I wish, first of all, to have the multiplication BB to CC. So basically, I just take that expression. Let me just copy that expression. Oh, by the way, if, if you want a quick way to copy, just basically uh, control C. And then let me paste it in here. And now what I do, I just enclose that part that should happen first in parentheses, okay? And then I wish to have that addition, but I wish to have the division by DD first before su subtracting, uh, then uh, uh, doing that, that uh, uh, sorry, adding that AA again. So basically if you see here, the way I, I did first, that thing happens, and then that thing gets added to AA, Okay, let me put here further parents. See, and then the whole thing gets divided by DD, and then everything gets uh, added to AA. You see, I, with my parentheses, can set the precedence that I wish. So there's no mix-up, okay? I personally don't know what precedence was used in this equation to produce that result. But here, I set my own precedence. Let's see if, the, if we got the same result. Well, no, you see, it's a totally different result. 
So basically here, one very important factor is don't try to memorize those precedence rules. I can't. I've read them so many times and I always forget them. So basically use parentheses to set that precedence uh, in, in complex equations. All right. Now in the next video, we're going to start building our first simple application. And you can see how we use variables uh, for inputs and outputs.